Kersor is a European Horizon 2020 project uh, which has this, the main aim of improving the safety and the efficiency of urban search and rescue operations. It is designed around an earthquake scenario which will uh, result in trapping of uh, victims under the rubble and tries to address missed capabilities of first responders in such missions. So it includes uh, various technologies, more major and more innovative ones, like drones, wireless geophones, ground penetrating radars, and uh, also our small robotic devices, the Smurfs, that are the main focus of our test today. So in the Smurf, we have integrated several components, such as the front camera, the measurement distance sensors, uh, infrared camera, LED lights, motors, communication system, localization system. Some components are off-the-shelf components, meaning that we can just buy them, commercially available. Others are prototypes. We are developing a Smurf. Especially we are doing the design of the hardware of the Smurf. And the big challenge of the hardware design of Smurf is to integrate all the sensors and the components into the very small mobile robot and we are doing a lot of uh, mobile tests and durability tests uh, in uh, our lab. Field tests for technical partners are very important because uh, we cannot reproduce these uh, settings in our laboratories. So throughout this uh, test, we could uh, understand a lot of uh, findings. We had a lot of findings. Uh, we learned uh, what happens uh, when we move on the real environment, such as a uh, tangled or fragile environments, uh, a steep slope, or when we drop on the hole. And uh, also we learn how to uh, recover when we uh, stuck into such kind of situations. I believe we can make a robot more helpful for fast uh, rescue response um, by future development based on these experience. And also uh, we had a lot of discussion with the uh, first responders. And uh, so throughout the test it became clear what uh, kind of improvement of the robot design uh, can be made. With the Smurf, there is a, a mapping system uh, and we could use the different points uh, to localize the victim with the Smurf. This mapping system could use uh, on the field and it's very easy for uh, the rescuer to find the victim with this mapping system. Today in Brignol we are testing for the first time our sniffer device uh, in operation as when it's uh, embedded into the robot. The main aim of this uh, sub-module is to uh, detect odors uh, with the objective to uh, find uh, victims under the rubber piles and to uh, determine whether the victim is alive or deceased in order to pr uh, prioritize the safety uh, operations. I believe uh, in uh, this project because uh, uh, we have uh, this big opportunity to test uh, what, what is possible for uh, the future. Each minute we can win uh, with the time, it's uh, a moment where the people have most chance to be uh, rescued and stay alive. <laughs>